Hey, I'm Paul McGowan, and thanks for joining me today. Let's see what we got. My stack is getting smaller, although we just got about a hundred more questions. And if you have a question, please uh, feel free. Go to psaudio.com, and it's um, psaudio.com slash ask dash Paul. And, or just go to our homepage and click on Community, and you'll see Ask Paul. And there you can ask your questions, and we'll get to them one at a time. If they're interesting and good questions, you bet we'll get to them. All right, this is from Mike in Reno, Nevada. Dear Paul, I've enjoyed watching copper grow with each issue. On the forum for digital within, with, within DIY audio forum, a thread headline, the best DAC is no DAC. Mm -hmm. That has me lost. Lots of support, many pages in regard to, to this opinion. I trust your opinion, Fiora asked from the outside of the forum, what, in, what does it mean the best DAC is no DAC? I think I read about that somewhere, and it's kind of a misnomer. I, uh, if I remember correctly, there is a fella on there who was saying that he, he wanted to eliminate the need for a DAC, and he was reproducing digital audio uh, with, with a, another piece of gear. I don't remember exactly what it was, and I probably should look. Maybe as we're doing this in post-production, um, we can refer to that, that no DAC. You know, if we slide over here, <laughs> we can uh, put it behind the screen if I can find it. Here's the bottom line. If you're going to listen to digital audio, you're going to have a DAC. So when he says the best DAC is no DAC, that can't be correct. A DAC is a digital to analog converter, however you want to do it. Let, let's take DSD for a minute. DSD is incredibly simple in its output. It can be the DAC, if you will. The conversion from digital to analog can be as simple as a capacitor. And that's because pulse density modulation, which DSD is, if you were to look at it on a scope, you can actually see the musical waveforms, uh, almost like if you were watching the same thing in analog, where PCM, which is what most of us are used to, uh, is, is, is meaningless. You look at a PCM stream and it looks just like a bunch of bits. You can't tell anything. You can't tell if, if there's a loud passage or a soft passage. That's because pulse code modulation actually is in a code that must be deciphered by the DAC. Pulse density modulation is actually really an analog. It's as close to analog as you're going to get. And so maybe what they mean on that is that if you had DSD and you used instead of a DAC, a simple capacitor to just round off and, and roll off some of the high frequency transitions that happen between the, the one bit signal that comes through there, that you don't really need a DAC. But I would argue that that misuses the actual word because somehow you've got to get from a digital data stream to an analog stream that we can hear. And the device that does that, be it a capacitor, a direct stream product like we make or whatever is essentially a DAC. It's exactly what you're going to have. So that's, that's as good as I got. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.